What's up, YouTube? We back for a great post-spawn video. I'm calling it post-spawn, folks. I'm calling it spawns over, post-spawn. You gotta get back on piles. Those fish are on their way back to where they're gonna be at for most of the summer. So where do I start? Obviously shallow, because that's where they've been shallow for this entire spawn, at least most of them. But because, you know, like normal, we have a storm pending on us right now. It's like about to slam us. I got about 40 minutes to make this video. We're gonna go deep. We're gonna go close to my my, my home and um, put some slabs in the boat. I'm gonna show you that it doesn't really matter. We're post spawn, they're on piles. They are getting ready to set up for the entire season. So if you enjoy this content, do me a favor and subscribe. I'm gonna go through the hammer, the equipment I'm using, all that great stuff to help you catch more crappie. Uh, welcome to three pound fishing, baby. Let's do this. All right, guys, hammer 10, without a doubt, that's how we're starting. I got the all white hair jig. You guys check those out on the website. They are hot. All of them are actually doing very great. And it also included Jack. So there's another one called Jack. It's in the uh, combo pack, 132nd ounce, the B combo pack. Um, those are freaking awesome. Hammer 10, all the great stuff. Let's see if we can get some fish in the boat before the storm gets us. There we go. Hmm, there we go. First fish, guys. Good fish right off the bat. Post-spawn fish, guys. They're gonna be a little bit skinnier. Definitely gonna weigh a lot less, but that's a good starting fish right there, guys awesome now i'm using the amber color palette for my garmin unit this is a 16 inch 8600 series you guys can check those out at ptg down there in grenada they're big time also mounted on the cornfield fishing gear um the folding mount that's my go-to right now so okay so here you go perfect example good eating size fish right there guys fantastic um Again, the setup is a hair jig. Playing that jig, very, or the, playing that fish, very important. Number seven split shot, sniping braid. We're using the Comet. And then we've got the number one 10 footer out there, the Hammer 10 right there, guys. And that is coupled with a 200 series reel from three pound fishing matches. Everything goes together real well. So a lot of these fish have, you know, obviously we talk about it, they spawn shallow, but they don't all spawn shallow. But the first brush piles you're gonna to wanna to hit are the ones that are close to those spawning areas. That's the first ones they're gonna hit on their way out. Then go to mouth of coves and focus in on those piles. Without a doubt, you're gonna find them starting to stack up and it's gonna continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, one of the highlights of post-spawn is when it's sunny outside, they go to the brush piles. So check them out, especially on those sunny days. Got some takers here oh and we missed that is no fun right there again going right back in we don't waste time with bad casts so you always want good casts if possible there we go another fish good fish guys good solid eater Mm, 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 mm. Crazy, the weather's getting pretty bad around me right now. All right guys, just like everything else, boat ownership is one thing after another and currently the power, the power brakes, crappie brakes are not functioning right now and I think it's just the stomp switch. If this is this if this is true, it'll be the same stomp switch I had to replace before. So all I do is I open this guy up and verify that the wires have become loose, and that's the culprit. Here's the stomp switch right there. All right, guys. Here's the problem. You can see that electrode right there is not connecting. So all I'm going to do is use my soldering gun and get that fixed. And as you can see and hear, the rain is rolling and the wind is blowing, baby. So, uh, hey, I appreciate you. 
Take it easy, guys.